What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video we're going to find out part one of how you get the sleeper simulant. Now in today's video we will talk about all we know so far into getting this mysterious exotic fusion rifle. The road started today and it began with a new mission that popped up on earth called the first farewell. Basically this mission leads you to Bunker Raz 2 where you eventually have to fend off waves of enemies in the form of Taken and Hive. Once completed you will be rewarded a curious transceiver where basically you have to enter calls which can be found on screen now. I actually guessed the first two in a matter of minutes but I know a few of you guys will be stuck so I hope this helps. Once you have entered these codes, you will then have to enter a mission on Earth called Shadow Call. Here you have to solo the mission and have a time limit to do so. Just ignore the enemies and race to the top. Once at the top, you will find a trick chest which spawns wizards. You have to kill these wizards and once you have, you will be rewarded an Ikeolos Fusion Core which you have to repair. It has five parts for you to complete. The first is Ionized Shell Harmonics which requires you to complete the archive mission on Venus. Do this on Heroic just to be sure. Just so you know though, these don't have to be completed in any particular order. You can do them in any order you want. Then we have Heavy Plug Coupling. Here you can just dismantle any old heavy weapon. I do believe though blues do not work so it may have to be a legendary or an exotic. As you can see I use the truth. The final three require you to defend war sats on three planets, Earth, Moon and Mars. For each you will get the final three part to repair this relic. For me, Mars took the absolute piss. I'm not even joking guys, I was there four hours. Four hours patrolling Mars using some stupid fucking Destiny event tracker app that was so, so wrong, it was unbelievable. And when I eventually got it down to a T and got the rotation perfect, I just kept getting eliminate the targets, which was just disgusting. And I mean, I was getting to, to blood boiling point at this minute. I mean, I was threatening to cut my own dick off, I really was. But yeah, I got there in the end. So guys, just be patient. Like I said, it took me four hours to get this damn part done. Absolutely insane. But once you have completed the final three parts in the form of defending war sats on Earth, Moon and Mars, you then have to reactivate the core. Once that's done, you then go and see Banshee, the Tower Gunsmith. Once handed to him, there is no other notification given. I'm guessing we will just have to wait, sort of like with how Tarek's the Loyal and those three fallen exotics. We may just have to wait a few days or maybe we may have to wait till next week's arms day, which I could actually see happening. So we'll have to wait another week until we continue the mystery of the sleeper simulant. But guys, this is part one of how you get the sleeper simulant. As soon as I figure out any other steps to this mystery, you guys will be sure to find out on my channel. So subscribe for Daily Destiny. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. I do appreciate the support. Thanks for stopping by as always, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out until next time. Peace.